Hey Doug, we're talking weather now and uh, it's been a cloudy day for the most part. Did think that we'd have a few more breaks for sun than ultimately we got. And if you live along the lakeshore, really didn't get any sun at all. Had a couple breaks here ultimately in Grand Rapids, but definitely a mostly cloudy day. Temperatures topped out in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. And we'll keep uh, some level of cloudiness right on into the overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow. So we've been talking about uh, the cool weather we've had. And it sticks around here as you're headed outside on a Friday night. Uh, not going to be dropping off real fast because we do maintain this cloud cover, but uh, getting down to about 30 degrees, I think, by uh, Saturday morning, Saturday daybreak, which is uh, just after 7 o'clock at this point. There you can see those numbers running in the mid 30s from north to south across our viewing area and uh, cloudiness that continues to stream in from the west. Uh, just stepping outside the last hour or so, it seems like the low clouds have kind of broken up a bit, but we've got a new pattern of high and mid-level clouds to uh, supply us with uh, what you would classify as mostly cloudy conditions, I think, into the overnight. So bottom line is, is that there's going to be some thin spots out there, which will help to uh, allow the mercury to drop down into the upper 20s to around 30 by daybreak tomorrow, but not outrageously cold if you're headed out early uh, to start the weekend. There is a warm front in the central plains that will continue to work closer towards us. Doesn't have a whole lot of moisture with it, but uh, you know, when warm fronts do approach and get near you, you can't rule out a sprinkle or a flurry. Uh, I think it would be more of a sprinkle if we saw anything tomorrow, but don't count on much in the way of precipitation for Saturday. Winds, they are out of the south, but very light, only as much as about five to six or seven miles per hour in spots. That means that the wind chills, here they are, not much different than the actual readings on a thermometer. Now, go to the uh, the wind chart for tomorrow around midday, which is typically, you know, probably your breeziest time of the day. And we'll be back into some of that for tomorrow. Toned down with the winds for uh, here on Friday, but we'll pick up some southwest breezes tomorrow at about 10 to 15, gusting to 20 miles per hour. And then by the time we get to Sunday, afternoon. Winds are going to shift from the southwest to the northwest as a cold front presses in in the late afternoon and into the evening. And that is going to turn us quite windy heading into Monday morning and wind chills down into the upper teens to around 20 degrees as you're headed out to start this new uh, work week. What will be and that's not the way to start it off, is it? With uh, wind chills in the upper teens and some scattered flurries and snow showers that can be around. I'll tell you, though, overall, the models have toned down the snow potential. Never was it great, but uh, we've been mentioning this slight chance uh, for maybe an inch or two or three in some spots in West Michigan. Can't rule out that there would be an inch or two, maybe that high, but it doesn't look like the conditions are real favorable for strong lake effect activity late Sunday night into Monday morning. But with it being as cold as I just showed you, wind chills down in the teens, actual air temperatures in the 20s, there will be some level of a lake effect snow shower uh, activity that tries to flare up there Sunday night, early Monday morning. So probably some slick spots on roadways. It's just not going to be a great depth of snow accrued early next week. Future track model has these clouds overnight tonight into tomorrow. There's that little sprinkle that shows up with the approach and passage of a warm front. That warm front will lead us into the mid 40s. It does appear on Sunday, but unfortunately we'll have a lot of clouds on Sunday as well. So it's not like we're going to reap the rewards of a passage of a warm front very much. And in fact, little disturbance will roll through and could give us a, a brief shower there on Sunday, though I don't think a whole lot of moisture. That system, as I talked about yesterday, goes on by and it wraps down some cooler air on its backhand side. And the latest run of the model didn't show anything in terms of snow showers there Monday, but likely there will be. The models have a tough time detecting uh, snow potential, and uh, I think they are there on Monday. So probably like a dusting to an inch, something like we had last night from Monday morning. Look at chilly through Thanksgiving, but uh, not terribly cold. Highs around 40, maybe a few flurries. Okay. Anthony, thanks. State champion.